for Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Darren Parker. Today I'm speaking with BetterRect MD Nicolette Schulthammer about the company's survival and growth strategies throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the concept of Team Africa and the company's new investment into its facilities. Hi Nicolette, what strategies has BetterRect followed throughout the lockdown of April and May in order to ensure that the company has remained competitive despite slowing down or, or even shutting its doors during that time? So while it might seem opposite to what the question asks, we took a strategic decision to pay all of our employees during the lockdown. This is because we feel that we have some of the best artisans in Southern Africa. And in order to remain competitive, once we reopened our doors, we knew that we would rely heavily on their experience and expertise of, of our workforce. We therefore needed to ensure that we supported them and their families throughout the difficult and challenging times of this lockdown. Can you explain the concept of Team Africa and its origin and its purpose? So at the moment, Team Africa is a mindset. I have been in the engineering industry for 12 years and the most successful and rewarding projects that I have personally been involved in, at their heart, always had an element of Team Africa. It was therefore after several discussions with colleagues and clients and other people in the industry that the Team Africa concept sort of fully formed in my mind. So Team Africa is not a single company or country or entity. It's about collaboration between companies and countries within Africa. What is comforting for me is that the Team Africa concept already falls within the guidelines of the African Free Trade Agreement, which was created in 2018. And I think something that is very re relevant is that just this week, we received feedback from a European client that a project we had been quoting on for Central Africa to the approximate value of 150 million Rand has been awarded to China. And the reason was, for this was that the finance for the project was originating out of China. So I don't have an answer or the money to solve a problem like that, but hopefully if more key stakeholders become aware of what we are losing as Team Africa in these situations, perhaps if we all put our minds together, we can come up with a workable solution. Finally, can you discuss the recent investments that you've made into BetterRect's facilities? So we started investing in Betterect, uh, well, major investment back in 2012, where we installed uh, automated cutting and drilling lines, uh, not only for structural steel, but also for plate lines. And that expansion was furthered by, at the end of last year, we completed the expansion of our new workshop. Uh, and in that workshop, we have a vertical boring mill, which is capable of machining up to 7.2 meters in diameter. And we have one of the biggest rollers in South Africa that can roll up to 150 millimeter thickness plate as well. And a strategic decision that we have taken over the last five years is to really invest into top quality welding equipment as we see this as one of the most critical aspects of our business area. And we really want to deliver the best possible uh, and fastest, highest quality welds of, of our steel equipment that we fabricate that we possibly can, which is why we find it so important to, to really invest into welding technology at the moment. That was BetterRect MD Nicolette Schalthammer discussing the company's investment into its facilities, the concept of Team Africa, and the strategies that the company has employed throughout the COVID-19 pandemic.